Hello, welcome to the Thursday, September 27th, 2018 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Las Vegas, Nevada. Brad today has an update for us on Emotet. Emotet uh, used to be a banking trojan, but has morphed, as Brad explained, to a malware delivery service. Now, the latest round that he has been observing used word macros in order to then download additional malicious files. The word files either arrived directly as an attachment to an email or just as a link that, if clicked on, would then download download the malicious document. In some cases, Brad has also observed PDFs with, again, links that will then download the Word document. So the PDF itself uh, isn't really malicious other than delivering the malicious link. In the case that Brad is describing here, Emotet actually then installed three different pieces of malware. As usual, Pratt does show how all of this happened. He also links to indicators of compromise, IP addresses, hashes, as well as traffic captures from the infection in his lab. And if you are running Fedora Linux, you may have run into a problem with SSH after the latest round of updates. Fedora updated its crypto policies, which essentially changes the order in which different crypto algorithms are being used for SSH connections. The problem here is that as a result, if your server does support multiple cryptographic protocols, you may actually get a different key from the server than the one that you have saved in your known hosts file. This will result in a warning that essentially the key has has changed. Now, in an interactive session, this may not be a big deal, but if you are relying on SSH in ground jobs and the like, so for unattended SSH sessions, these sessions may now fail because of this warning. This affected Fedora 29 and an update has already been pushed that will revert this change. And security researcher Lucas Stefanko came across an interesting banking trojan in the Google Play Store. This particular trojan does appear to emulate Q Recorder, which is a popular call recording app. Once you install the trojan, it will ask you for permission to draw on top of other applications. It justifies that with the need to display itself on top of phone call and other applications so you can add, activate the recording feature. However, what actually happens is that within 24 hours, the attacker will send commands to the application via Firebase and activate the malicious behavior, which will first check for banking applications that are active on the phone. Here, banks in Germany, Poland, and the Czech Republic are being targeted. Once an user launches one of these applications, the malware will then display a fake login box on top of of these applications and use this information to steal money from accounts. The malicious application was installed more than 10,000 times according to one bank's statement about 10,000 euros were stolen from two customers. And Google announced that it will undo some of the controversial changes it made to how Google Chrome authenticates to Google and how cookies are deleted in the next release of Google Chrome, which will be release 70 and it will be released in October. Yesterday I mentioned how Chrome 69 added a new feature where if you clear out cookies, Google's cookies will not be deleted and also how Google Google Chrome will automatically log you in whenever you visit a Google website. The way I read Google's announcement, these settings will still be the default settings for Google Chrome 70. However, there will now be a switch where you can revert it back to the old behavior where all cookies are being deleted and where you are not automatically being logged into any Google properties. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and 
talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.